What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your friendly comic book lover, World of a Queen, and I'm back to review Invasion from WrestleTopia. It's a wrestling and sci-fi blend, and it's quite the ride. So I got the first two issues as review copies, so I'm just going to break it down for you guys and let you know what I think. So let's jump right in. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. I will be doing a giveaway at 100 subs, and the prize will be Batman Detective Comics 1000. So you definitely want to stay in the loop for that. Invasion for WrestleTopia is written by Matt Enthin and Ed Cunnell, and the art is done by Dan Schade. In this story, we're introduced to Rory Lando, who is a hardworking, charismatic, in-ring performer who is part of the American Wrestling Federation, also known as AWF. And after all this time, Rory is finally going to go home with the gold, the AWF title, which he's scripted to win later on in the night. But of course, plans change. And that's something wrestling fans, including myself, are all too familiar with. Literally hours before the pay-per-view, Mr. McMahon, <laughs> I mean, Mr. Drazen, the general manager, tells Rory he is not going to be winning the belt like originally planned. Despite his best efforts, Rory cannot convince Mr. Drazen to change his mind. Mr. Drazen feels like this is best for business. It pisses Rory off and it pisses me off because Lord knows how many times I've watched a wrestling event waiting for someone to win who I'm rooting for and it doesn't happen. After a conversation with a dear friend, Rory decides that enough is enough. He wants out, but before he leaves, he decides to intentionally sabotage an interview during a segment. And it's during that segment, he makes the bold statement that he is the galactic champion of the universe. And he even has a belt to show for it. I like this guy. This statement helps set the tone for the rest of the story because that statement manages to reach a planet called WrestleTopia, who has its own ruler, who also believes he is the only galactic champion of the universe. Oh boy, Rory screws up every single wrestling opportunity he gets post AWF, mainly because he's an angry drunk and you can't perform at your best in that manner. While Rory is sabotaging his personal life and his wrestling career, Earth is now the target of an invasion from WrestleTopia because there cannot be two galactic champions of the universe. Ladies and gentlemen, bring out the tables, ladders, and chairs because this is going to be a hell of a ride. And I'm here for it. <laughs> These first two issues are a great start to the series. I'm enjoying how much fun it is and I like how creative the story is. The last time I remember wrestling being taken to such heights creatively was Mucha Lucha and Ultimate Muscle. Both of these cartoons, I loved watching growing up as a kid. So it's really awesome to see that there's writers who's not afraid to take this culture, take this sport, and shape it into their own image. There's plenty of callbacks that wrestling fans can appreciate, enjoy, but most importantly, recognize. Also, Dan Shkade does a great job with the art. I like the retro style that he gives some of his characters, but most importantly, I like how the art makes it feel like I'm watching an episode of wrestling. I'm really interested in seeing where this series goes. And I believe you guys should check that out as well, especially if you're fans of wrestling. Issue number one is on Comixology, and there will be links down below if you want more information about the series. Don't forget, guys, to subscribe and also turn on your notifications. Roll the Queen out.